Hey everybody, it's Goody Parade and today, as you can see, I've got Way to Wonderland Madeline Hatter from the Ever After doll line. I have the regular size doll and then I have the 17 inch doll and I'm very excited about it. I've been wanting both of them for a long time and I just happened to get both of them at the same time, which I think will be interesting to compare them. I also have this adorable little tea set, which I thought was very befitting. Let's get started with the tea set. It says Alice in Wonderland on the little cup, and then it has the rabbit on the teapot, and it has the queen and Alice on the plate. It's porcelain made in Germany. Okay, I'm just gonna pull it off of here. So the cup and saucer are attached. And it does look like there is gold plating around the edges, which is such a cute detail. It says Alice in Wonderland. Look at that beautiful plate with the Queen and Alice there. And then this teapot. Oh my gosh, darling with the bunny. How cute is that and precious. And the top does appear, I'm not gonna pull too hard, to be attached even though there's a hole so it looks like it works maybe you just pour it in there and pour it back out anyway i like that because now i don't have to worry about losing that piece but anyway i think that'll be really cute we can uh, pour miss madeline some tea later maybe it will make her grow to giant sizes i'm not sure well here is the regular size doll the way to wonderland madeline hatter i just all of these uh, way to wonderland dolls the colors are so phenomenal so bright they just catch my eye i am a color girl all the way, says Madeline Hatter, daughter of the Mad Hatter, and she's from Ever After High. She's got so much going on, I'm gonna wait till we open it to get a look at that. And I know there is a cartoon you can watch on Netflix. Darling drawing of her here. What does it say? The way to Wonderland has been shut ever since the evil queen cursed the Hattastic homeland. But the spellbinding students of Ever After High discovered a secret way back down the rabbit hole. Can they put an end to the curse before things get way to Wonderland? Hmm, I wonder. And uh, here are the other characters, which I don't have yet. Apple White, Lizzie Hart, and Kitty Cheshire. Again, I want them all. <laughs> and eventually I'll get them. All right, let's get this mama out of the box. Okay, I've pretty much got her out. There's this cute little card here that says, read me. So we'll look at that in a minute. And then the box is really pretty. Like she's going down the rabbit hole. Shwoop. Oh my, is she amazing. She came with a doll stand. So I'm gonna put that together and get her standing up here so I can stare at her loveliness. Fabulous, Fabelhoft. Okay, what is this? This is really pretty. Pictures of her on the front. Let's see. What does it say? You are invited to celebrate with all of Wonderland the unbirthday is birthday party of the Queen of Hearts. Location card castle. RSVP by graduation or off with your heads. Okay. Well, no, nothing threatening there. Okay, there's a whole little story. I'm not going to read you, but let's see. Oh, what's this? It says, this diploma certifies that Madeline Hatter is a graduate of Wonderland High School. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't heard anything about anybody graduating from any of these high schools yet. Okay, there's this little clock thing here. I'm guessing it's like a little purse, little clock purse. It does say Ever After High on the back, just ever so slightly, and it looks like it opens. There's a hinge, so. Let's see, oh, it's like the swirling crazy clock that takes you down Wonderland. That, let's see what it looks like with her. Adorable. All right, well, let's get a look at her. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna get the negative over first and then I can just praise her all the way. The hair, okay, I'm just, this is so disappointing with, to me when this happens. They have all these cute drawings of the girls where she, they have this amazing curly hair and then it comes out, this frizzled, fried, matted mess. Like even this spot right here, it's so stuck together. It's like, 
like somebody put hairspray and then an iron on it or something. It's just crunchy and frizzy and I'm disappointed. Look at that. It's kind of pretty up here at the top and then it just goes to yuck yuck down here. Okay, got that out of the way. Let's look at her. Okay, the hat. I'm loving the hat. The hat, of course, is what caught my eye. That beautiful blue hat with the teapot and the cards. And she's just a beautiful girl, of course. And she's got little clock earrings, my darling. And she has a little necklace here. And then she has uh, black hands, I'm guessing for gloves, and then these cute little cuffs. So her gloves look cuffed. And then OMG, look at this adorable little hat ring. I'm really liking that. Oh, it's cute. Is that rubber band on? I think it is, and I'm probably going to keep it that way so I don't lose it. <laughs> okay, now look at this. I'm guessing it's a coat. It looks like a just stunningly beautiful coat. A swing coat with this big giant bow so I'm hoping it's just a little velcro or snap here looks like I see a snap when oh, it snaps right off oh and she just has a little simple dress underneath it almost looks like a slip it also looks to be strapless and it does have velcro down the back here and I love that she has real hose on they're not painted on they are real doll hose. Doll hose are always special. And then her shoes, oh, delicious. She's got cupcakes and a teapot. The front looks kind of chunky because she gets some big toes. Really cute shoes though. Okay, I am going to shut her little jacket back up because it's so fabulous. I can't stand it really fabulous. What is on it? Just little hearts and teacups. Super cute. I love you. You're just adorable. I mean, those colors are just so much fun. She goes to the tea party, right? And she sits down and I think she, we're going to give her a little bit of tea here, but I'm here. Some weird things happen. Are you feeling woozy? Wow, Madeline, you look different. Looks like you're all squished in this little box. And here we have the Way to Wonderland. Madeline had her extra tall doll. And I'm very excited to open her. Her giant shoes look amazing. Her outfit, everything. Can't wait to get her out. Looks pretty similar uh, to the back of the last one, so I think we'll just spend our time getting her out. Oh, this is really cute. I didn't notice how at the bottom of the box looks like books, like stack of books right here. That's cute. <laughs> wow yeah I think if this Madeline tried to sit on the little um, tea party chair we were having I guess she might kind of fit a little bit <laughs> just barely oh wow she is beautiful well we talked they listened look at her hair this hair's better it's actually like little ringlets and I think that's what they were trying for the other one but Maybe it didn't work out so well in the factory. I mean, I can only imagine how hard it is to do little curls on little dolls and make millions of them. But this is much better hair. Thank you, I love it. Okay, I think it's so weird that this doll has this tiny little hat and then this doll has this huge hat. Doesn't it look like this one belongs on there? Maybe I'll try and do some surgery in a minute. This is a little teacup hat, so that's kind of cute. Ooh, she has a beautiful jeweled necklace on here. And she has blue gloves with a little white pearlescent ruffle. 
Oh, and uh, just like the Monster High Big Dolls, they are extra jointed where they actually have like little elbows here to help them move along. I think that probably prevents their uh, limbs from popping out. Oh, and she also has a weird kind of joint right here. That's neat. Very cool. And this dress is just stunning. It has, oh my gosh, this fabric here, this bow here, this purple with this amazing gold on there, and then the little tulle ruffle around the bottom. That is just stunningly gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so we didn't get real pantyhose on her. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. It looks, I'm not sure, it's weird. We got painted on white legged polka dots, but I'm okay with it. She's so giant and special that I'm willing to do that. And honestly, uh, in this case, I'm willing to take good hair and paint it on tights. So, all right, the time has come. The shoe reveal. Wow. <laughs> Those are really amazing. Now, I understand uh, Monster High and Ever After clothes and shoes can mix and match. So if you have the 17 inch Monster High dolls, you can probably mix and match these beauties too, which would be a lot of fun. Those are amazing. I mean, these would be fun just to display, just to put on your shelf and people go, whoa, those are really awesome little shoes you have there. And she's got knees, bending her knees. I'm still just crazy about the dress. The dress is really, really pretty. Okay, so let's get a look at her. She's right here. I did have this really big chair for her, but I'm not sure. Let's see, I thought that looked perfect. Yes, there you go, a perfect big chair. And then for uh, the little one, <laughs> I'm so sorry to call you the little one. Nobody wants to be the little one, right? I had this little chair. But uh, I don't know, maybe she should, maybe they could squish. That'd be fun. Okay, yep, there you go. Wow. <laughs> that is too cute. Okay, what do you guys think? I'm kind of, I'm feeling cray cray. I'm feeling, normally I don't like to cut uh, hats off or headbands off that are so integral to the description of the doll and, you know, Madeline Hatter, the hat. But I think I'm willing to go uh, to take a little gamble just because I want this on this. I want this hat on this doll, right? That makes a lot of sense, don't you think? Or some? All right. Oh, I almost nearly forgot that she does come with a doll stand. To make a doll stand this big is pretty special. Okay. So down at the bottom, it says ever after high. And uh, also, I guess I should say Little Madeline said Ever After High on the bottom too, but was black. And this one's all kind of that purple color. So let's see how she's gonna fit in here. Uh, these clippy ones, I like them because they're very uh, stable, but also they, uh, I feel like they pinch the fabric and that kind of bugs me sometimes because I don't like to ruin their beautiful costumes. We're gonna take this little lady and see if we can do something with her hat. Okay, let's get a better look if we can. So this part has these little taggy things and this part, mm, I was wondering if it could unsnap, but it looks like I'm gonna have to untag it. Oh, oh, I hope I don't regret it. Okay, come on, I just gotta go for it. Live on the edge, right? All right, it is nice. Well, yeah, there's a little rubber band here that holds her hair back. So that's nice. At least her hair is kind of back if I'm unable to get something back on her head. But I know how to do some rubber band magic, so we'll see. All right, let's get a look at this thing. That's just cool. <laughs> I love that. The headband feels really huge, so I'm hoping that's going to help me get it on her. I have a feeling she's got a similar situation. Yes, she has those little taggy tags. Well, I just like seeing those curly locks kind of flying, like loose a little bit. Kind of reminds me of Shirley Temple. Probably got one. Who's Shirley Temple? <laughs> oh, I really like her without anything. She's just cute and bouncy. I'm cute and bouncy. 
Okay, so here's her old hat to Jung. Let's see what this might look like. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, I'm gonna go with yes, yes, and more yes. All right, let's look at how this is put together. That kind of snaps around that, that's very specific. And that goes like that. I always save clear rubber bands or clearish ones. I got some with my Zelfs the other day. And I am just gonna try, oops, it might be nice if it's the right way, to rubber band this on her head. Okay, it's kind of on like that, right? And then I'm going to get the rubber band, right, aren't I? I am. I am, I put them around the, ha ha, ta-da! <laughs> it's rubber band magic with Goody Parade. Oh my, okay. As if I didn't love her enough already, let me put something behind there because since I have a blue background, you can't see how amazing the hat is. Let's get Missy Small Thing out. You know, I will do a better job of this. I'll actually probably put two or three rubber bands on there just to really secure it and make it kind of hug her head more and look more natural. But I just think that's darling with the big doll. I really think she commands big shoes and a big hat. She has this one. I think this teacup is just the perfect size because it still looks big and huge on her. So I think I'm going to have to pull the band around the back and then secure it with a rubber band, I'm sure. Okay. I'm not gonna waste your time showing all that because this is the end, but that's how she's gonna look with that. And I just think that's so much cuter. It totally goes with her outfit. It matches her bow. It, it's still big on her, so it still looks all Alice in Wondery. So let's get a look at both of the girls together with their new hat. There we go. Okay, everybody, I know that was kind of crazy. All right, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye for now.